Ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction. The fighter, fighting out of the blue corner, weighed in at 227. He's at 35, stands at 6'3". He fights out of Apex Wrestling and hails from Staten Island, New York, Rico Suave Rodriguez. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 260.5. He's 46, stands at 5'10". He fights out of Machine MMA and hails from County Durham, Ian the Machine Freeman! Your referee, Mr. Mark Goddard. Grant, this is the best shape that I have seen Rico Rodriguez or Suave in a very, very long time. Exactly my thoughts when I first saw him. He's lean, he looks mean, uh, he's in the best shape of his life, but he's fighting the machine. And the machine, I'll tell you what, he's always at the apex of fitness. Um, and I, let's mention that, you know, Suave was the UFC champion. He won over Randy Couture. And I'll tell you what, there's not a better fighter on the planet. No, th this is a huge, huge fight for Ian Freeman. Uh, it, Freeman's got his hands low. Uh, he has got uh, very, very heavy hands. He strikes well, low kick there. I, just, I don't know where Ian would prefer this fight to be because uh, Rico Rodriguez is great on the ground. As evidence uh, from his ADCC, uh, as he's gone over there, won countless uh, matches over there, and that's the that's the top level for grapplers. Once you've hit that uh, echelon of uh, grappling, I mean, yeah, there's really nowhere else you can go. <laughs> yeah, right. Another another good low kick from Freeman. Uh, I'm just wondering whether Rico Rodriguez is just uh, lulling Ian into a full sense of security, letting him think the fight's going to stay stood up. That was a bit of a sloppy attempt at a takedown there. Now, Rico's going to have to be very, very careful. I mean, if you're going to commit, commit to it 100%, whether it's a you know, good left tie kick there. Uh, Ian Freeman faking with one of his own. Now, Ian looks to be doing the stalking. Oh, nice yeah. punch over the top there by Suave. But actually, a left hook landed by Freeman. There's that low kick again. Now on that low kick, uh, Swap is going to have to be careful because he actually reached to catch that leg for a possible ankle pick yeah. or single leg. And he's he's going to have to be careful. He's going to leave himself open to be punched in the head. Uh, bit of a low blow there. Um, you can see the welt on Rodriguez's uh, left leg already. So those low kicks are effective that Freeman's throwing. Not a bad game plan. Now, Freeman has controlled the center of the cage while making Rodriguez stay on the outside, which from a work rate point of view, Rodriguez has to do more work circling the outside. Nice little left hook yeah. over the top there by Rodriguez. And the machine just smiles it off. Left hook returned of his own. And I tell you what, look at the, I mean, there's mean intentions on both guys' punches. Yeah. Pierre, the, the hairs on the back of my neck are stood up. I'm so excited to see Freeman in at this level. He, he really has got it. He is a legend. That leg of is really hurt, Rodriguez. This could be all over. I think what hammer fist straight down the pipe, and Rodriguez may be out. It's machine to ground and pound finishes the fight. But let's not question, or let's not look over the fact what set it up to get it to the ground was that low level, low line kick. And I tell you what, who knew the machine could throw a Muay Thai kick? Look how pleased Ian Freeman is in front of a home crowd. He just dropped Rico Rodriguez, former UFC champion. And look, if you look at Ian Freeman's right foot, whether he's, uh, he's broken a metatarsal there, but he took some damage to deliver some damage. I think his right foot could be broken, Pierre. Now, the last words that were uttered out of his mouth from the top of the cage is, hey, I'm back. Uh, do you think that foresh wow. foreshadows what's to come? Uh, do you think he might try another run at possibly the UFC? Well, I actually mentioned this to Ian earlier. Uh, probably a bit presumptuous of me to do so because Ian Freeman was very nervous today. He said to me, I do not remember feeling like this when I used to fight at the top level. Um, I said to him, what an opponent to beat on a huge stage like this. A lot of eyes would have been on this show tonight. A lot of eyes would have been on this fight. He's just beaten Rico Rodriguez. That could yeah. get him a UFC offer.
Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 11 seconds of the first round by way of ground and pound, your winner, Ian the Machine Freeman! Your UCFC heavyweight champion, Mr. Freeman! Mr. Freeman, I see there's a lot of emotions going on there. Talk us through it, please. Oh, dude, I'm 46 years old. I should be watching Judge fucking Judy in the house. Well, that's not what came across when you fought today. We've been following you on Facebook, on Twitter. The way you've been working and preparing yourself for this fight. You've had a change of opponent, but you're here and you've conquered. Man, I started 14 weeks out. 14 weeks of pure hell. I trained a Spartan performance. Jack Lovett, there's the man there, put me through hell with strength and conditioning. I'd never done strength and conditioning ever in my life. It killed me. Phil the Free, Shuki, number one heavyweight, look at him. The man is a monster. He kicked up the shit out of me for 14 weeks. Giles Mulhern, British and Intercontinental Champion. He was the second one to jump on us and kick the shit out of us. But the man who sat with me, he took time, he dedicated himself, he pretended he was Rico when he was fighting me. He went through all the technical stuff, you know the boring shit that you're here doing. But he spent time with me and, and he believed in me, Richie Knox. I love that man a bit. But my whole team, my whole team, and let's not forget Machine MMA. I couldn't do it without them guys. I didn't train with them as much as I would like to, only because of the level that they are. I mean, I trained with the best in the country. But Machine MMA guys, they took a beating off me. And I love you as well. Thank you guys. Wah! It sounds like you've had the right people around you. You've got strength and condition, you've got striking, you've got groundwork. It seemed to work here with the strikes initially. You took him down and you went straight in and went in for the kill. Mate, uh, the height, the height was, uh, I mean, I've got Phil to spar with. He's high, he's tall, but I couldn't really catch Phil with the height. And I thought the height was going to be a slight disadvantage towards me. But people forget, it's been five years since I've been in the cage. Five years, that's, that's a long time, a long time. So I had them little bits of doubt to the back of my mind. Can I still do it? Fair enough, you can do it in training. You still beat people up in training, but that's in a comfortable environment. Here, with all you lot staring at me, watching at me, going, let's see if he is too old. Let's see if that five years off actually works. But my God, I am so fucking happy. Well, the thing is, Ian, you've proved the haters wrong and you've proved the supporters right. You've come in here, you came with them leg kicks, you chopped him down, the high didn't mean anything, you dealt with him on the floor. Richie Knox, Richie Knox is the man. Richie, raise your hand. Richie Knox, he's the man who went his leg kicks. Use your leg kicks. Obviously, I was a bit worried in case Rico shot in as I was throwing a leg kick. That's a, but my sprawl has been super fast. Phil De Freese is one of the fastest shoots I could, I've ever trained with. And Phil had a hard job taking me down, so I knew, I knew Rico couldn't do it. But uh, I think I broke my ankle. <laughs> it actually hurts. It's actually a big swollen. But I'll tell you what it is, guys. You better buy me a fucking pint. I've been on a diet for 14 weeks and I want it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an honor to MC this guy. One, one, one quick thank you, one quick thank you. Or two actually, one is to Rico. Rico, I mean this man is a former UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I mean look at the condition he's in, he's looking absolutely fantastic. I just want to say thank you guys so much for the opportunity. The fight changed the last week. Um, I'm just not honored to fight Ian. He's a stud and he was a class act as a gentleman. It's our job to miss martial artists to promote the sport in a positive way. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here. Ian, thank you so much for letting me share the spotlight. Thank you. What a gentleman, Mr. Rodriguez. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hold on, we haven't finished yet. Hang on, hang on. I've got a beautiful lady out there. My beautiful wife. Baby, I love you. <laughs> yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, the UCFC heavyweight champion, Ian the Machine Freeman! <laughs>